Good morning. It is Monday, which is not my favorite. You're probably wondering what happened to Thursday and Friday. So last week, you know, we were working on that big job and they were talking about all this rain. Well, we got it. <laughs> Wednesday uh, evening, it began to rain and it rained all day Thursday, all day Friday. So we're back at it in a brand new week. Uh, a big cold front came through after all that rain and it went from fall to winter really quick. It's actually below freezing today. It's going to be below freezing when we start pouring. Uh, some of you are probably wondering, can you pour concrete when it's freezing out? Uh, I'll probably talk about that a little bit today at some point. All right, well, I'm going to take this trash out. I will see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? Good work. Good morning, Ms. Z. Good morning, Ryan. How are you? Good, how are you? Hello. Okay. I guess we just grab our own creamer out of here now. It's different. Yesterday and some uh, Brussels sprouts. Mmm, I love Brussels sprouts. I didn't realize how hungry I was till I sat down. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> that was some good eating. <laughs> you know you eat good when the next morning you're still full. And you're still thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> See you later. Just pulling into the yard. It is 5:42. So one update. Last Thursday when it was raining. I had Francisco come in and we took in the F-350 to get fixed. If you remember the starter or the flywheel, it wasn't engaging. And I had replaced the starter once and it didn't fix the problem. But I took it in and the mechanic who was very familiar with the 7.3s, he noticed I put a Napa starter on and he said those particular starters in those engines sometimes have issues. He said he checked the whole flywheel, the entire flywheel looked fine. So he put a original <clears throat> starter in the truck and it's perfectly fine. So that was like the best news that I had all last week is that it didn't cost me a fortune to fix the F350 and I got it back in one day. So that was really good. So that truck is fixed, it's ready for the winter. It just needs a service now, oil change and so forth. And uh, put the salter on and that thing will be ready to go the tandem i don't have back yet i don't even know if he started it yet i won't have it for the rest of the season and i knew that already but that's okay be basically at this point we have the job we're going to finish today which was a really big job and then we're going to start a big job tomorrow it's a new construction in new berlin wisconsin pretty close to a job we just finished a couple weeks ago there and then there's one more removal pretty good sized job driveway and that's going to be our season so i got about two weeks left of work and then we are done and the weather is pretty much telling us we're going to be done anyway so it's not like an option um so we're wrapping it up soon get this concrete called in here this morning Hey, it's Ryan from Victory. Hey, I got that seven o'clock. I need 28 and a half yards, six and a half bag, low chert, air, microfiber, five inch slump, 20 minutes apart, 1% NCA. And you guys will be heating the water this morning, correct? Yeah, correct. Okay, concrete ordered. You heard me ask him if they're gonna be heating the water this morning. That's one of the things that, um, keeps concrete from freezing, helps it to set up, is when they mix it at the plant, they have boilers and they heat the water that they use to mix the concrete up. Uh, when the concrete gets to our job, even though it's in the 20s right now, it'll be somewhere in the 50s. So they heat up the water, that's kind of the first step uh, when you do weather or when you do concrete in cold weather, that's the first step is uh, getting the concrete to the right temperature as you're pouring it. Uh, the second thing is you heard me as I normally do when it's cool out. Uh, I put NCA, it's an accelerator. It'll help the concrete to set up a little bit faster. Uh, so you can pour concrete when it's cold out. It's not really an issue. And the third thing to keep in mind is that concrete has a high mineral content. So it's basically like trying to freeze salt water. It's not gonna freeze at 32 degrees. Uh, I did a job three years ago. 
I might have mentioned this once before, I can't remember, uh, but it was a smaller job. It was just a partial driveway and a front sidewalk. And we poured it the middle of the day, it was about 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, and it froze hard that night. It got down to that 23 degrees. I did not cover it. I didn't take any precautions to keep it from freezing and it covered with plastic, no blankets, nothing. And I did that on purpose because I wanted to see, uh, it was a risk, um, but I needed to see if, con if it was gonna damage the concrete. It's 23 degrees, the concrete was not hard. You know, when the night came and it got cold, it was not hard yet because we poured it in the middle of the day. It was to the point where you could still scratch it with your finger pretty easily, and I just left it alone. And that was, I think that was three, four years ago. The concrete did not freeze. It is absolutely perfect. Uh, so that gives me confidence when I pour now that when it's even in the mid or upper 20s that the concrete more than likely is going to be fine. I'm not telling anybody else to do this. I don't know what your concrete is like where you are. Maybe it's a little bit different. Maybe it'll freeze a degree or two, um, you know, warmer or you're maybe even cooler. I have no idea. I'm just telling you that I feel comfortable pouring today. Uh, it's a big driveway. It's supposed to get down to about 20 27 or 28 degrees tonight but I'm not really worried about it the concrete does uh, it has a chemical reaction it does create some of its own heat uh, I'm gonna buy a laser thermometer and I'm gonna go there tonight I'll add it on to this video uh, I'll go there probably really early in the morning when it's still dark at the coldest part of the day tomorrow morning and I'll take a temperature on it and I'll, and I'll show you that it's not actually freezing all right guys should be showing up here in a few minutes Hopefully it is a Monday and I haven't heard anything from Tino. So I sent out a group text last night and I didn't hear anything from Tino. Everybody else responded except for Tino. So I'm gonna call him this morning, make sure he's on his way, hopefully. I really need everybody today. It's a good size pour. Please leave your message. Oh, for that's time. really bad. That's not a good sign. No response all yesterday from Tino and no answer this morning. Hopefully he'll call me. Oh, he's calling me right now. All right. Hey. Hello. Buenos dias. Ah, you're awake? Yeah, I'm over in the way. All right. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. All right. Yeah. Uh, okay. Bit. Yeah, bye-bye. See ya. I had full confidence in Tino. I just said that. I told you, Tino will be here 100%. Okay, I'm going to fire up the truck since it's so cold. Give him a little bit of time to warm up. It's not good to jump in a diesel. When it's freezing cold, I'll start it up and just get on it right away. It's good to let diesels warm up for a minute. Gasoline vehicles, it's not really that big of a deal. Eric's pulling in. Yes. Whoa, put it in park, Eric. What's up? <laughs> it's really cold. It's cold. I know. Not as cold as it's going to be tomorrow. I know, I see. <laughs> Oh, Look at the ground. It's like I know it's <laughs> start, starting to freeze. Yeah. I already started for you because I know you'd be cold. Oh yeah, it's cold in there. <laughs> oh man, tomorrow I don't even want to talk about this to be honest. Tomorrow they are talking about snow in the morning, accumulating snow. No joke. And we're starting, we're supposed to start a pretty big job tomorrow morning. So this truck is hooked to the trailer right now, the Chevy. And uh, I'm not gonna switch it back this morning because we had to adjust the hitch height. And I just don't feel like messing around with that this morning. So we'll use this truck today and then tomorrow uh, we'll switch it back to the F-350. But not today. I'm gonna go start up the Mac. We gotta bring that because the skid steer's out there and we're finishing that job today. So we'll haul it back with us. All right, Mac, be good to me. You're the only dump truck I got left right now. Yes, sir. She takes a second to kind of kick in when it's cold. But it evens out just like that. She doesn't like it, but she still wants to work. Wow, it's cold. My hands are actually getting cold. And my hands don't normally get cold. I'm not used to it yet, that's why. This is really the first really cold day where it's below freezing and we are not quite used to it yet. Whew, it's chilly. You gotta warm up real quick. Hands are cold or whatever. 
Oh, this thing is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is so nice though. Oh, oh yeah. Tomorrow you're gonna have to have your ski mask. Oh yeah, I'm not watching that one. Keep the snow out of your eyes. Good. Tino said he's almost here. I think Ray's here too, actually. Everybody's here. Everybody's here. Morning. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Wait, really? It's cold. Yeah. Really cool. Morning. You put a fireplace in here. Yeah. Well, you can go. You can go. You can wait. Tino's almost here. Hey, don't crash a nice truck. I told him not to crash my nice truck. Oh, nice yeah, because we took the Ford in. Oh. But we got it back already. So I remember the first time Eric drove it. <laughs> so be careful. Oh, yeah. Scratch on the other side, matching. Just match it up. <laughs> oh no. Alright, I'll see you over there. 606. Just leaving the yard. I did already talk to Carlito and Little Ray. And they're both gonna meet us on a job, so everybody's gonna be here again. Alright, I'm just pulling up on the job. It is 631 and it is 27 degrees. But it's not real, real windy. I mean, there's a breeze, so not too bad. It's supposed to warm up to like 40 today as a high. Driveway's on a little bit of a slant, a little bit of an incline. Morning! What's up, buddy? Man, it's so dark here. <laughs> I know, it is real dark. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see uh, Carlito yet, but he should be here soon. Yeah, it's real dark now. Kind of muddy, too. Try not to trip here on my mesh. I'm gonna open the garage door and see if I can get those lights on. This guy's supposed to move in this week, like Thursday. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna happen or not. All right, they work. Now we got tons of light. No, just kidding. We got something though. Yeah, we poured this patio last week and this portion of the driveway front sidewalk now we just got 28 and a half yards left i'm gonna get this skid loader out of here get it out of our way wow that didn't sound happy to start eric's sleeping wake up eric carlito's here yeah. all right Start grabbing up all the uh, pouring tools. Oh, yeah. Tools and everything? Yeah, that would be helpful to pour concrete. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> right, Little Ray? Yeah, like, <laughs> I mean, we, we could do it with our bare hands. Know, but, hey, the manly good, way. <laughs> yeah. uh, grab the tape. Tape off the edge of the existing. And we'll put a piece of plastic there so we don't splash Got it. on that. Other than that, we need tools. I got to mark the joints. Man, anybody seen Big Ray? Whoa. There he is. There he is. He, was the first David one yeah. he does take his time. Put tape all the way back to the, I mean, plastic all the way to the first joint. Because sometimes we only put, a, yeah, because sometimes we put a small strip and it splashes past that. Look at the shape though. These are frozen Look at the solid. <laughs> <laughs> These are stiff. I got to go get mine. Hey, they are. No way. no way you can't wear cowboy boots in the concrete oh, man yeah, uh, you're gonna wear your cowboy boots yeah your three thousand dollar cowboy oh, boots. Yeah, right. oh. yeah, hey francisco's got money you're yeah, elephant skin. i know <laughs> <laughs> you're crazy you're gonna wreck your boots man concrete's here hopefully we got a good driver he knows how to get in the driveway so that's a good sign yeah he's got to be good a rookie would have never did that nice wide turn like that. That'd be good, man. We don't need this on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's something I would have said. Right. <laughs> we don't need that on a Monday. Morning. Oh, my boots are so froze, too. <laughs> they got water inside? There's ice in there? Oh, it's ice on the bottom. Just put them on and man up. Just man up. Oh, mine are cold and wet too. They're wet. Oh man. Oh, they're soaking wet, dude. Oh, look at look at my sock is soaked now. Why are these so wet? 
Did, did you wash the inside? I don't know. Big Ray, did you wash the inside of all our boots? No. I don't know, man. Oh, I know what happened. Somebody left the job box open. No way. It was you. No. Okay, I'll check the cameras. I will. I bet the job box was wide open. Put in five. Somebody left the job box wide open all last week and rain filled all our boots and now they're all frozen solid. Thank you, Eric. Now that my right foot is already frozen, you're gonna owe me new pants, which are $90 and new boots. It's coming off your check. And we're gonna talk to Daniel about it too. Yep, so glad it's not windy though. Yeah. This would be really miserable if it was windy. Really miserable. I see Tony Lalacata ain't pouring. <laughs> they start early, he would be there already. Don't get any concrete on that edge, Eric. Be really careful there. Oh man, that's a shame. Look at them cowboy boots. Oh man. $3,000 boots. Yeah, right. Man. needs the gloves on. Oh man. He's cold. Wait till you see Eric tomorrow. He'll be prepared for sure. Another good driver. What? They want you with the roots. You're talking about the ruts. Those are those are ruts, not roots, Eric. Morning. Morning. Just stay right here for a second. I'm gonna let them both float up real quick, okay. and then we'll start. You can't, he can't handle it. No. Oh my. His fingers are frozen. They are, they're frozen. He said they're frozen solid. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> Except for one other curve. <laughs> nah. There's tons of guys pouring today. I don't believe that either. Come on, Ray, you don't believe me. No, I believe it. Oh, they're frozen. These poles are really cold. My hands are stuck to the poles. It's like when you lick a cold pole, stuck. I can go up. Go warm your hands up in the truck real quick. Did I tell him to turn on or was that his decision? Hey, just shut it off for a minute. Just shut it off. I'm not trying to fight the truck bull flow and I'm trying to bull flow. Ray thinks he's a CEO sometimes. He does. Wait till I tell Daniel that Ray's trying to make the big decisions around here. Oh no, what? Oh, boss. What? The key. What key? I have a hole in my pocket. It's gone. I hope you're lying, I'm right? I'm not lying. I'm not lying. You what mean key? for the dude, brand new Chevy? Hold my pocket, man. For the brand new Chevy. Look at this. I told you, dude. I didn't know how to hold my pocket. Why would you put a key in your back pocket anyway? Who does that? Who, does Who puts that? keys in their back pocket? <laughs> I was gonna give it back to the $250 to call us a switch locker. Yeah, you better look, man. Everybody look while I'm both low. It had to be right there. Oh, Better be not be right there, Ray. It had to be. Look in the street. Look here. Look everywhere. You're sure it's not in any of your other pockets? I know where I put it. Start pouring. You're about out anyway, I think. Like I say, it's always something. Second truck's empty. Third truck's here. Still can't find the key because it's in the driveway. Excuse me guys. Thank you. Sorry to interrupt. Were you on TikTok? I'm really sorry about that. Oh, okay. On TikTok? Oh, the one he said. Oh, 
Don't give him no hopes he's gonna be famous though. So he's not no, that I'm not good. Him he's he's no, not I'm that not. good. Oh, he's famous. Oh? You guys Carlitos. Don't, you guys don't know. Victory. Uh, victory event. Enterprise. Yeah, hey, victory enterprises. We yeah. it. Carlito. We got a better chance of being a NFL football team than we do a band. Hey. Yeah. And we're really terrible at football, so. <laughs> I know that was a cat. What are you talking about? This? Sweater, yeah. No, it's fire. <laughs> oh, fire. fire. When I was I was welding or cutting something. Nice, yeah. But I I love this thing. Fire. Fire. <laughs> I, I, I keep wearing it. I don't care what it looks like. Who cares, right? I mean, exactly. Who cares? We're pouring concrete. What's the difference? All right, let's see if this stuff's set up at all so far. Nope. Maybe just a touch. Very little. It's all right. The sun's starting to come out. Once the sun gets on it. We'll be in good shape. It'll set up. Sun makes all the difference. I'm very sorry. I don't. I didn't know there was a hole in my pocket. Out of all my pockets, the pocket I choose is a hole. That is crazy. You gotta duct tape it or something. Ooh, what is this? Is this from Friday or what? Seriously. Hey, put two gallons and mix it. Actually, don't put no. Just mix it a little bit. No water. Carly will grab the felt, start stretching the felt, set the felt. Go grab, I think there's some pieces of that fiberglass. Yeah. Rebar, grab those. I think there's, we need four of them. I think there's four or more. I'm gonna put these fiberglass rebar in these corners because these corners like to break off and I don't want them to break off. So we'll do that. <laughs> Look at Big Ray's holding up the traffic. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, <laughs> the scraper shoot right here. And we're good. We got more than enough. Oh, the sun's hitting it now. It's gonna be. Is it supposed to be sunny though? Yeah, all day. It's gonna be sunny all day. We can get on it at 530. <laughs> <laughs> it's whatever it takes. Oh, my feet are soaked right now. Just from the moisture of the concrete. Is it hard? Really wet or kind of wet? Really wet. Make sure it's perfect. Yep. Oh, it's setting up. What are you talking about? Still a little. Yeah, it's wet, but it's setting up. It's not like it's not setting up. It's good. It's good. No, it's pretty much ready for joints. Right now, I snap some lines and go. I mean, I don't want it to blow up. Uh-oh, homeowner's here. Say hi to the homeowner and then snap some lines. You in a good mood? It's Monday. <laughs> the best day, right? Yeah. Love Monday. Yeah, right. Yeah, everything's good. No rain today, finally. Yeah. Man, that was brutal last week. This job literally took us an entire week. That's horrible. Yeah. Yeah, we should have been done. Well, we would have been done Wednesday. We would have did two pours in one day. You know, Wednesday yeah, we would have right. been done. Right. Oh, that's all right. We'll be done today. So, all right, I'm going to get back to work. All right, thank you very yep, much. Yep, yep. Everything went good here. Appreciate it. Yeah. We got it in. The weather's been crazy though. It's like fall and then winter the next day. Okay, all the perpendicular lines are snapped. So I'm gonna go up and start cutting and then we'll snap the center lines. We're gonna have enough time. It's setting up pretty slow because it's so cold out, but it is setting up, so. Carlito, can you help Ray pick up all this wire mesh? I almost tripped on it like three times already. Sorry to interrupt. Drag it down there and put it on the trailer. Since we don't have a key it's setting up. It's I know it is. It's oh. I know it is, Eric. It's good. How's your fingers now, Ray? Better? Your fingers? Yeah. You're gonna have to move to Florida, man. Seriously. 
Can't believe we started this job an entire week ago. Oh, I know. And we're just finishing it now. Man. Still glad we got that one pour in Wednesday though. Yep. At 11. But otherwise, Terry, we'd had to do two. And that wouldn't have been good because the afternoon pour, that concrete would have been so wet. <laughs> we would have been finishing that at like 10. And then it starts snowing. And then we got to shovel it before we finish. We poured a driveway once and the next morning it snowed six inches. What? Yeah. We covered it all with plastic, but still, yeah, that's that was crazy. I know, they said an inch tomorrow. We're just setting up anyway, it'll be fine. It'll be fun in the snow, right Eric? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, you having a heart attack again? We're gonna line it up with the joints up there, Tino. You're gonna have to move the plastic, buddy. I gotta pull it really tight, so you better wrap it around your hand or something. Is it straight? I can't see. It's straight now, yes. Somebody wind this up, I gotta start cutting right away. All right, all the joints are in as far as I can cut them in. They're gonna have to connect the dots in the middle there with a strike off. I can't reach that far. But the concrete's not setting up fast, so we have plenty of time. No big rush today. We're not pouring anything else. We're not pouring anything tomorrow morning. Um, just need to finish this job up and then I gotta find a key for that. I don't even know where another key is for that, to be honest. I know I have or I own two keys for that truck. No idea where the second key is. There's a slim possibility I have one in my pickup truck. I doubt it. It would never be that easy for me. But I'll look. Big Ray, you are really lucky. You got a spare? Yeah. Really? You are really lucky. I just picked up my set and I remembered I put the second key on here just last week. Man. Just last week I did this. I'm so happy. <laughs> He's lucky. I literally just had this, I just remember now, I put it on there last week. Cause I had it at my house, I was like, man, I better put it on my keychain just in case. Here, put it in your pocket that doesn't have holes. It's really different when it's cold out than when it's hot out. Oh, for sure. When it's hot out, you're like, I gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. And now it's like way more chill, way more chill. Right, Tino? Yes, sir. You guys are on it. Big Ray's pulling pin. I'm doing nothing, waiting to broom. Just relaxing. Tino's just getting started. Hey, I finished the whole site, so I don't have to go back there. I didn't say anything. I just said you you're said just I getting started. started. I've been finishing already. I'm very I, sorry. I should, I should just go home. I gotta go, man. I gotta come. <laughs> Tino's leaving this too rough, man. Can't broom that. All right, Ray's picking up, stripping forms. Guys are about oh, half, almost halfway done. Concrete setting up pretty slow, but not terrible, honestly, for only being about 39 degrees, 30, I don't even know what it is mid to upper 30s right now and we poured early we started at seven o'clock so by the time it gets to be freezing temperatures again this concrete will, will have uh, had a lot of time to set up develop a little bit of strength before it gets real cold again everything's going good joints are looking nice and straight still that's good that's what i like Your recording doesn't make you no money. Yes, it does. It does? You go, you go play for something or party? Eric, you got to get some gigs lined up then. That's really easy. 
Eric's gonna lie though, say professional accordion guy. And then, <laughs> and then a band's gonna come in the mariachi, come on Eric! And then, they're <laughs> like, ow! What is that? Oh, I don't know. Doing damage on the concrete, I am sure. What'd you say? I feel like it was an endless driveway. Endless driveway? That's you know, so 28 yards. Okay. Oh, working hard. Yeah, he's, he's trying to get that out. shrimp yeah, cocktail. Yeah. Hey, real pig hey Ray, are you trying to go really fast? Try to get a shrimp cocktail? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, he is. Yeah. I noticed he stripped all the form already. No, 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 oh, all the bins are out. Well, hey, he's, right. he's going quick. Hey, hey, Looking hey, good. Hey. Almost done. <laughs> Almost done. <laughs> Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Chili's. I just heard it. Thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a coloring book. Yeah, coloring book too. Oh, that's look at this. That was bomb. Chicken's too expensive, though. Yeah, take it easy, man. Don't get right trying now. to I'm get the most expensive thing on the whole $50. menu. Everything's good here. Probably like everything. Huh? Last time we were here, so we ate like seven bowls of chips and salsa. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Chips and salsa. Tino's here. Sukasa was closed. I know. Man, look at this. Did she say she was gonna bring me more soda? Yeah. I'll I'll bring more. This place is good though. I mean, it's not See, like Sukasa good, but it's really good still. They're gonna take this off. In case it can be more tasty. See. Are you complaining already, Ray? Why don't you just enjoy your free lunch? Yeah, you they put make chicken in there by accident, so... Oh, okay. Really? More for me. I like chicken, too. A lot of food for me. Thank you. I don't get extra steak. Uh, well, why would you get extra steak? Would you stop? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Anything else for you guys? Thank this is the last so free lunch you get, you. and you too. <laughs> guys, complaining. Does anybody have any more complaints? Nope. Okay, yeah. just checking. I don't know. Look at all the sodas we drank. <laughs> I only had one. I got two. That's Ray. Look at me. Three. Ray, you got three. four. Look at me. Look at that one right there, too. That's not mine. That's yours. I only have no one. Look at Ray. Look at Ray. Give me a knife. Look at Ray. Yeah. 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 He's, He's like, like this. He, he right. finished like one and he goes like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, vamanos. Yep, vamanos. Vamanos. All right, see you later. 6.30 tomorrow. 6, 6.30 tomorrow. Right. Yep, see you later. Adios. All right, that's it for today. Tomorrow we are starting another pretty big new construction job. It's a driveway, front sidewalk, and then it has a, uh, has a little apron on the back side of the garage. It's kind of weird. I'll show it to you tomorrow. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. Adios. Okay, I am back on the job. It is 5.30, so we started pouring this driveway about 10 and a half hours ago. I brought a little uh, infrared temperature gun uh, just to check on the temperature of the concrete. 35. It's 33 degrees air temperature right now. So the concrete is definitely staying warmer than the air. And we'll come back a little later. All right, I'm over here at Home Depot. I'm gonna grab a couple rolls of plastic. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous. Uh, the last time I checked the forecast, they were saying 24 as a low. Earlier, they were saying 26, so they dropped it by two degrees. And 23 is when I heard, at least, that you need to be really careful. So I might wimp out tonight and cover it. I'm not gonna cover it now, but I'm gonna have plastic. If I gotta go out in the middle of the night, cover it, I will. I'm really torn right now because on one hand, I don't want to cover it because I kind of want to test the limits of what you can get away with as far as cold weather concreting. But on the other hand, I don't want the concrete to freeze and get ruined and have to rip it out because that is many, many, many thousands of dollars of concrete work right there and time that I don't have this fall. So, I'm really torn right now. I'll just monitor the temperatures tonight and see what happens. See if I wimp out or not. For those of you that don't know, you can cover the concrete with plastic and the concrete, there's still a chemical reaction that's taking place and it creates heat. So if you cover it up with plastic, it traps the heat and it'll keep that concrete nice and warm underneath the plastic. That's the idea. Plastic is expensive, $127 a piece. Okay, I am back on the job site. It is 8.51. The temperature is dropping pretty quick. It's 26 degrees right now. And I came back to check the temperature of the concrete. It's cooling off faster than I thought it was going to. But I wanna check the concrete here. 35.6, so it's about 35 degrees. It is walkable at this point, but you can still damage it. Yeah, you can still pretty easily damage it. That's only showing 32.2 there. If it's not the rain, it's the cold weather. I think I'm gonna leave it alone for a while and come back later. I don't know what time, but I think I'm gonna come back and cover it. 
I think it's just gonna be colder than what they're even saying. It's already 26 and it's only nine at night. It's supposed to drop several more degrees. So I think I'm gonna cover it up. It is 9.30. I'm back at the yard. I'm wimping out. I am wimping out, you guys. I'm gonna cover it. So I stopped back at the house. I was gonna try to get Ryan Jr., but he's sleeping already. He was on a trip yesterday, so he went to bed super early. So I'm on my own. I'm gonna grab a hammer, a bunch of pins, and uh, cover this thing up. That is uh, 28 and a half yards of concrete out there. So that is a ton of money. And I just don't feel like playing with that much money. It's thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. You know, if I would have to rip it back out again. And uh, I just can't do it. I can't do it. So it was 28 and a half yards. But 170 bucks a yard, give or take. It's five grand just in concrete. Plus a day's work for the entire crew. Oh man, I just can't do it. I can't play with that much. Okay, I'm back on the job. I got plastic and pins. And I wish I had a little help. But I don't. The only issue that I have is the concrete. You can still damage the concrete. So I'm going to have to be really careful about how I put this plastic on. We'll figure it out. We'll get it. Once I finish this, going home and going to bed. <laughs> Getting ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a very interesting day. The weather tomorrow is supposed to be awful. They're talking... Uh, an inch plus of snow windy high of 36 or something like that it's supposed to be a terrible day but we're running out of time this year and i told the guys we're working anyway so dress appropriately so i already know eric will have his face mask on his ski mask and uh we'll just see what we can do i was thinking about the best way to do this i really couldn't think of any good way to do it <laughs> thinking to roll it right down the middle and unfold one side at a time and just walk on the plastic kind of act as a little bit of a barrier so I think I can think of if I had a helper that would be nice but I don't we're looking pretty square there let's go for it I don't want to really walk on the concrete anymore without walking on the plastic. Very glad that it's not windy right now, I can tell you that. This would be a real nightmare if it was windy. It's nice and still outside, which is good for me going good so far we'll get it pulled tighter after we get it all unraveled here okay got most of the driveway covered i gotta cover up this piece here and there's a little bit at the bottom try to get the wrinkles out as much as possible the more wrinkles you have, the more curing marks you're going to have. Almost done. Almost done. Alright, that's it. It's all covered up. There's no wind, it's not going to blow off. So, it'll heat up under the plastic, help cure the concrete. The only thing we need to kind of be concerned about is curing marks but a lot of the moisture is out of the concrete already um, because we waited so long to cover it which is good so that'll minimize curing marks but uh, we'll see what happens all right i'm out of here it's about 10 30 right now uh, the weather has not been cooperating at all this fall we really had a great summer uh, but this fall it's been pretty lousy i gotta be honest the weather and other problems has just made it into a, a bad fall i'm glad we had a great summer um so it'll kind of average out so uh that's it for today tomorrow we're starting a new one i'll see you guys on the next one adios mm -hmm.